Hello everyone, my name is Amber and today we're going to talk about how to make an online magazine using two really awesome programs, InDesign and Issue. Issue is a free online website where you can create online magazines. The online magazines can be created using two document formats. You can use either a PDF, which is what we're going to create today, or you can also use a PowerPoint presentation. The really great thing too about the issue service is it's shareable and you can embed it on your um, course website. So we'll also talk a little bit about sharing. The first thing we want to do to create our magazine is to create the actual content in InDesign. Before we get started though, make sure that you set up a free account on issue and that's issuu.com and then also make sure you have Adobe InDesign installed on your computer. Okay, let's get started. All right, well now we have InDesign open and the first thing we're gonna do is create a new document. Really important thing here is to make sure that we enter the correct number of pages. So for our purposes, we're gonna just make a demonstration magazine today to show you how the online magazine works. So let's create a total of four pages. Make sure that it's letter. This is gonna be the best size for your online magazine. And then I always like to make sure that facing pages is selected. If you wanted to, you could also change the orientation, but I find that the portrait orientation seems to work really well. So once we have our document open, we're gonna go ahead and take a look and make sure that our four pages are there. Over on the right hand side, you'll see pages. And you're gonna also notice that there's the option for a master. Now the master document is gonna be really handy for those of you who are gonna be making larger, maybe monthly or quarterly magazines. Today we're not gonna use this feature since we'll only be making a few pages, um, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about the benefits of masters. One of the really great thing about masters is it's basically a template. So if you have a feature that you're going to be offering to your um, in your magazine every month, it might be something that you want to set up. You can import those masters into other documents as well. So looking at our pages here, we do have a total of four pages. If I was setting up masters, it would be pulling from this A master. Um, but we'll go ahead and just create our uh, content right on the pages. So let's go ahead and start with page number one. If I double click on page number one, it's going to pop up. The way you can also tell that it comes up is you're going to see kind of a shadow underneath your document, and that's another way to know that you're not in the master anymore. You're actually in your content. So when we think about magazines, there's two things that probably come to mind, photos and text. The first thing that we'll insert is photos. Before we put any content on our page, I want to give you a couple of design tips that are going to help make your magazine a success. The first thing that I really recommend is turning on grid mode, and it's just going to really help you to align things and see things from a more visual perspective. Uh, the keyboard shortcut for that is command or control, and then the apostrophe. Once I turn that on, I have a really nice grid that's going to allow me to, like I said, keep things in line. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look on the left hand side at our tools. We have many different tools in InDesign and we'll cover some of the basics today. The biggest ones that are, we're going to use today are going to be the rectangle tools, these two guys here, and then we're also going to use the text tool as well. One thing I also like to do before putting the real content for my magazine in is I like to kind of create a layout. Um, the nice thing about creating a layout without any of your content is it lets you to see how it's going to look without kind of the distractions of, oh, there's a typo, or oh, I might need to reformat this. So let's go ahead and insert a couple of placeholder photos, and then I'll show you how to do some placeholder text. To insert a placeholder photo, I'm gonna come over here to the rectangle frame tool, and that's the keyboard shortcut F. Click on that, and then it's just a simple click and drag. And then release. If I decide at any point that I want to resize, I can come over here, choose my selection tool, and I can make it a little bit bigger. 
Now one of my favorite features of a magazine is leaning a photo off a page. So I'm actually going to do that by clicking and dragging all the way to the border and then go all the way to the edge. One way that you can preview your magazine is by hitting the W key and that will make all of your grids and outlines go away. Now, of course, I don't have a photo in here yet, but we'll try this again here in a couple minutes. Let's insert one more picture. Come over to my frame tool. And this time we'll insert a smaller picture. Didn't quite get that grid line there, so I'm just going to tweak it down a little bit. And there we go. At this point, I'm going to insert my placeholder text, and then we'll go back and put some real content in. Your T tool over here is going to allow you to draw a text box to put your text in. And again, these grid lines are going to come in handy. See how close I can get here? And same thing, if I need to resize, I can use that selection tool to go back and adjust anything that might need to be done. Go ahead and put a title on here as well. Great, I think that's looking pretty good. Last thing I might want to do is maybe add a caption underneath this photo here. And again, just use that selection tool to resize. Awesome. Let's go ahead and add our content. Make sure that you have your selection tool selected. We'll go ahead and click on this first big picture here. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Command or Control D to pull up all my photos. So I have my photos for the magazine right here, and I'll go ahead and choose one that I like. Now, first thing you're going to notice is that I'm obviously missing quite a bit of this picture, and it does look a little bit grainy. Good news is, is that in order to make your program run a little bit faster, InDesign doesn't render the full image. It Im uh, renders a preview image, and to see the full quality image, you can come up to View, and turn on overprint preview. I only recommend doing this just to kind of get a snapshot or a preview of your page. Uh, don't keep it on all the time. You will notice a it, that it kind of hinders your performance. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Other thing though that I notice is that I'm not seeing all of my picture. So over here in the right hand corner I have some great options for fit and resizing my picture or the frame itself. I'm going to go ahead and use the option to fill the frame proportionally. And now I can see my picture a little bit better. I'll do that with this picture as well. So just to review, I'm going to click on that placeholder shape, hit Command D or Control D, choose the picture. Come over here and fill the frame proportionally. Awesome. That looks great. Now let's put some text in. So I can click and then do a double click, or I can click on the T and click to get into the text edit mode. I always like to type my text out first when possible and then go back and format it. So we're gonna pretend we're writing a magazine on urban farms and restaurants. Now I'll highlight my text, come up here on this left hand side and I can choose the font. Maybe that one would be nice for the caption. And then over here I can choose the size, I can gradually increase it, or if I know the number that I'd like I can come over here. We'll do the same thing with these two boxes.
And same thing, let's go ahead and make this text a little bit larger. We also have the option on the right hand side for alignment. Great. Now, since we're just learning about making a magazine, we might not want to write the full article. So let's go ahead and put some placeholder text. To insert some placeholder text, we're going to go up to type and choose fill with placeholder text. This has got to be one of the best features of InDesign. It really lets you focus on creating your layout first, and you can go back and put your content in later. Cool. Go ahead and finish your first page, and then we'll meet up again and talk a little bit about how to create the rest of your pages and then export them. Now that you've had a chance to design your first page, let's use that W key to preview what it'll look like. Pretty nice, huh? By now you should feel comfortable inserting text and photos into your magazine pages. Go ahead and spend some time and get the rest of your pages full with content. To go to the next pages, you're going to make sure that the pages tab is open and then double click on the pages. Continue the video when you're ready to export. All right, now that we have all the content in our magazine, we're ready to export and then publish it to issue. To export, we're going to go up to File, Export. Go ahead and give your project a name. I'm going to call this Farms Magazine. Make sure that all pages are selected, and then let's hit Export. This might take a few minutes depending on the size of your document. Once your file is done exporting, let's go to Issues website. Issues website is issuu.com. Go ahead and log in. The great thing is, is you'll find the upload button conveniently in the top right hand corner. Click Upload, choose Browse, and you'll upload your magazine. Go ahead and insert the title, it does require you to insert a few keywords. And you do have some great sharing options. You can choose to allow people to put comments, to download your magazine if you'd like to, or to rate it. And a nice thing too, especially in the school environment, is we do have the option to make this magazine private. If you'd like to, you can even set a soundtrack for your audience to listen to while they read your magazine. So the upload process might take a few minutes, so I'll meet you back here once it's done. Once your document has finished processing, you should have the following message on your screen. Now if we look on the left hand side, we'll have the option to view all of our different magazines. And depending on whether you made it public or private, you'll have different options here. I'm going to go ahead and click on private. And I should see my final farms magazine here. Go ahead and click on open. And then I'll see a small preview of the magazine in this screen. I can also see some comments. I have the option to share, add it to favorites, print it out, or even if you give the option to download the magazine to my computer. What I really like is if I click on the click to read button, I can now view the document in full screen. Go ahead and close this message up here. And if I use my arrow keys, I can navigate through my magazine. And there you have it. You made a magazine using InDesign and Issue. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I look forward to bringing you further tutorials on InDesign and Issue.